Hello, let's draw a regular heptagon given the measurement of one of its sides, as can be seen here in the top left hand side of our screen. The first thing we need to do is draw a horizontal straight line in the center of our screen, and on the left side of this line we will mark a point A. Now set the compass to the length of the side of the heptagon that we want to draw and scribe an arc to get point B as shown here. This will be the first side or the base of the polygon that we want to draw. So the next step is from point A we need to draw a line at an angle of 30 degrees. We can do this using a protractor or a 30-60 degree set square. As you can see here in the video we use a set square with an incorporated protractor. So to continue we draw a perpendicular line from the point B which will intersect our previously drawn 30 degree line at a point N as can be seen here in the video. So the next step is setting our compass to the length AN. We scribe an arc to the left as can be seen here. The next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of the given length AB. To do this, I remind you, we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radiuses must be longer than half of the base, as shown in the video. And now we will draw the first arc with the compass centered on point A. And then a second arc with the compass centered on point B. These arcs will cut each other above and below the line. The perpendicular bisector is the line which passes through these two points. And this perpendicular bisector is going to intersect our previously drawn arc at a point which we call O. And this point O is going to be the center point of the circle that we are going to inscribe our heptagon. So now we are going to draw the circle as can be seen here in the video. Now the next step, setting our compass to the length AB, we are going to scribe six arcs around the circumference. So here, setting our compass on point B, we scribe our first arc, and now setting our compass on the previously drawn arc, we scribe our second arc. Again, setting our compass on our previously scribed arc, we draw our third arc. Again, setting our compass on our previously drawn arc, we scribe our fourth arc. And now our fifth. And if we have been working with precision and accuracy, our final sixth arc should cut exactly with point A. As can be seen here. So it cuts exactly with point A. This tells us that we have been working with accuracy. And the next step now is to name all of our new arcs or vertices. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And finally, to complete our heptagon, we join our vertices A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, and finally we complete our heptagon joining vertices G to A. So here we have our heptagon given one of its sides. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.